Hello, good evening. Hi, everybody. How's it going, people? Are you in your houses? Are you on your way home? Are you still working? So what you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How's everything? I'm tired. I'm sleepy. Uh, tired and sleepy? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't tell. But the good thing is I, you're at home already, I guess. Are you there? At home? Can you see any yes. Of these things? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so I'm just fully loading this information. Okay, let me see. Hmm. No, okay, the cool thing is that everybody's just getting connected, and that is perfect, people. So let's remember uh tonight we are going to have the last class from uh week number three, right? So with this um conference. We are just going to to be finishing the series of topics related to simple paths that we have been discussing during this week, right? So I hope most of you get connected to this class because it's, it's just a general practice what we are going to be doing, right? As part of, you know, like, as I said, what we have been doing during this this week okay so let's just start over people it's 803 and i'm gonna start with the attendance list just to start over right with the development of the class uh let me see gabriel esau Mm -hmm. All right, so Gabriel is not here yet. Guadalupe Noemi. Mm -hmm. All right, so she is not here. It is Cecilia. All right, so it's not here yet. Jorge Ismael. Mm, okay, Jorge, you're there. Jose Moises. No, okay, so he's not there. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay, perfect. Carla Ivania. Are you there, Ivania? Hmm, I guess just she's busy. Carla Lorena. I'm here. Mm, okay, very good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Okay, good. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. All right, good. Maria Elena. Present. 
pero la verdad creo que sepa. Nice. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ok, nice. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Mónica Marisela. All right, she's working, I guess. Oscar Armando. Okay, so Oscar is not here yet. Patricia Guadalupe. Okay, she's not here. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay, good. Ruth Guadalupe. Now, okay, nice. Uh, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, good. And we got the last person, Jocelyn Stephanie. Is it Jocelyn there? Okay, I guess she is not there. Okay, uh, as I was saying, people. So what we are going to be just doing tonight in this video conference is just a general feedback, all right, related to the main topics that we have been discussing during this week, all right? Starting, you know, like since video conference 11 until this one, which is uh, 15, right? So let's remember for the ones who haven't finished with the homeworks, try to finish them tonight people because i do really need your your homework okay to be done by tonight teacher by tonight yeah marley este yo hice todas las tareas menos la 12 que no le entendí sinceramente <laughs> what happened with number 12 es que o sea o sea decía que pasara como las yo le entendía así no sé que era Ajá. como pasar las preguntas positivas, o sea, como pasado positivo, pero yo dije, pero si están en el pasado. Entonces ahí es donde me confundí, no sé. Mm -hmm. so you got something completely mm -hmm. different. Es que está en el pasado, en la tarea. Es que no sé, o sea, no, sinceramente no le entendí que realmente se iban a hacer esa oración. O sea, ya todo lo hice, solo eso quedó ahí. O sea, no lo hice porque realmente... No le entendí. Ok. Vamos a ver qué es lo que dice que no le entendió. 12, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Esa es B. Last one. Vaya dice, write the following sentences, ¿sí? In the negative past tense. No, but that, this, this one is pretty clear, Marilyn. It says, write the following positive mm -hmm. sentences, positive sentence into negative mm -hmm. sentence, using past tense. Escribir las siguientes oraciones positivas a pasado negativo. O sea, está en pasado a pasado negativo. Exactly. For example, uh -huh. eh, están en mm -hmm. positivo. Pasado pero positivo. Uh -huh. Solo las va a transformar sí. a pasado pero en negativo. Por ejemplo. Pasado negativo. Uh -huh. Las correct. Si aquí dice, her dog was thirsty. ¿Cómo es la respuesta? Her dog wasn't. Her thirsty. dog wasn't thirsty. Pero yo no sé si porque le puse punto, porque no le puse punto, pero no me lo agarró. Let's... Ya lo voy a volver a hacer. Pero yo pensé que lo estaba haciendo mal. Porque yo lo estaba haciendo y yo como que, pero sí, o sea, entonces. Porque una de las anteriores lo que hice fue que les había puesto punto. Mm -hmm. Y yo tengo entendido que siempre tiene que llevar punto al final. Yeah, that's pero correct. no lo agarraba con punto, entonces le quité ¿Sí, el punto uh -huh. y los agarro como correcto. Entonces es, ajá, vaya, vaya, lo, lo volveré a salir. Acá vamos a ver al final igual, <ríe> miren, tiene el puntito. Uh -huh. Ajá, y las otras que había hecho, las había hecho así, solo que como las otras son preguntas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 
-huh. y llevaba el punto al final. Entonces, no sé si por, porque llevaba sin interrogación y punto al final, no me las agarraba como correctas. <risa> That's crazy. Eh, pero bueno, ay, ya, ya lo voy a hacer es rapidito. Unos tres minutitos rápido. Ok, bye. All right, ok. Good. Let's put it like that. All right, so I'm going to start sharing this thing. Okay, good. People, if you remember yesterday, we were working on uh, the manual and we were doing a couple of exercises that we just did them, but we did not correct them, right? All right, let me see. What was the page that we were working on in the manual yesterday? ¿Me podrían decir cuál era la página en la que estamos trabajando ayer? ¿O se recuerdan? 35, teacher. 35. 35. 35. ¿Cómo dice 35? 35. 35. 35. 35. Ok, let me see. It 30, was 35. 35. Good. Ajá. With the email, right? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. It was this one over here but if you remember yesterday we just read this uh, short um email and we answered these three questions right revisamos igual las tres respuestas de las preguntas que teníamos ahí all right and i told you that that by tonight we were doing this one we were about to do this one All right. Good. Listen, listen. In this case, did we complete this part? Completamos esta parte? Did everybody complete this one? No, cierto? No la completamos. Okay. So tonight we are going to finish that part. Okay. But before finishing that one, I am just going to provide a general feedback, all right? Using up, give me one second. Using up a presentation that I got over here. All right, so just give me one second. I'm just going to load up this one. Just give me a couple of minutes. Just for this to load out. Hmm. I don't know why this thing the last the last time it's just getting slow and slow every time. <laughs> Give me one second, people. Se me cerró la presentación y esta cosa no quiere abrir. This type of things only happens to me. <laughs> Oh, it's loading already. Okay, good. So we got it right here.
All right, people. So this is the video confidence or class number 15. Okay, let's remember that one. And tonight's topic is just going to be sample pass review and practice. What does it mean? It means that we are going to, to be discussing the most remarkable topic, as I said, that we have been showing up and discussing this week, all right? And remember, the whole week was focused on what? It was focused on the simple past forms with positive, negatives, and questions forms, right? So we're going to take a look at that. First thing that we're going to be doing, we're going to have a general review from the previous topics, right? Uh, we're going to provide a series of examples related to those topics. Uh, we're going to do a couple of exercises in the manual, right? The ones that we didn't finish last class, right? So we're going to work in there in the manual, all right, in a couple of activities just to finish up that part, all right? And we're going to provide, uh, you know, like extra examples with that. Okay, good. So let's remember, let's remember that this one, it's focus on simple past, all right? And last class, we were talking about what? We were talking about information questions, which was the last part. Now, what are we going to do right now? We are going to have a sum up or a summary since the birth to be, until the information questions that we were practicing last night. All right. So if you remember, guys, in the simple past of B, we got two forms. We got was and we got where, right? If you remember was, it was mostly for singular nouns. And where, it was mostly for plural nouns, All right? So let's take a look at some... Uh, Usage is an example related to this structure. Okay. Uh, Mario, help me out reading this part, please. Pardon? Help me out reading the letters in bold. We use was. Yeah. We use oh. was with. We use was with I, C, C, it, and singular noun. Ah, okay, thank you, mister. Remember, we use was with I, he, she, it, and what else? Singular nouns. So I can say like, I was, listen, I was in a party yesterday. So in this case, remember, you are not using an extra verb, all right? You are not using, remember, an extra verb, all right? So in this case, all right, uh, this is like, like the situations in which we can use this structure. For example, Ruth, read this example, Ruth. I was in the party last night. Now, okay. I was in the party last night. All right. So it was basically talking about a place. Good. What about this one, Carla? Help me out, please. He was a member for that company. Now, okay, good. He was a member from that company. Very good. We got another one in here. Check this one out. All right, give me one second. Okay, so you got that one. This is another one. Um, let me see who can help me out. Marilyn? No, you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you, were, you were trying to participate, <laughs> that's perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay, she was the owner of, of the computer. Okay, there you go. She was the owner of the computer. So in this case, what are we talking about? We are talking a possession from someone, right? Good. What was that? Man? No es recreo todavía, me es a las nueve. Okay, good. Se quedó congelado en una mala posición, teacher. What? Se había quedado congelado en una mala posición. Estaba buenísimo para un stick. Really? ¿A poco? Sí. Ay, ¿por qué solo a mí me pasan esas cosas? Quisiera agarrarlos a ustedes así, ¿no? Para hacerlo. Solo, solo veía a Ruth de irse y planificar el stick. Ruth lo estaba planificando. Ah, Ruth. Ahí, pa, no, para... tiche, yo pensé que ah. era mi Inter porque ahorita yo estoy así con problemas. No, estoy mucho pero un poco I think... cortado, pero yo pienso que es el mío, no usted. A lo mejor quizás a mí me están haciendo esto. No, actually, I think it's mine because, ajá, ya me acaba de pasar eso que ya los vi todos pegados ahí, ustedes así como que, yo, ¿qué onda es que pasó? That is funny. Uh, exactly, exactly. Pero es para que se les vaya el sueño, ¿verdad? Yeah. It's, it, it's, it, part, it, it part is for that. Okay, good. So let's remember, guys. Was is mostly used with I, he, she, it, and singular nouns, okay? Y recuerden que en este caso cuando usamos was o were, por lo general no usamos ningún otro verbo adicional. Podemos usar un adjetivo para describir a una persona o, algún, o algo más, right? O podemos usar lugares to describe places donde nos encontramos. Good. For example, I can say um, Ruth is at her work. That's in simple present. In simple past, Ruth was at her work. Right? So in this case, what are we doing? We are just mentioning the location where Ruth is. Okay? Good. So check this out. It says, Carla was part of the team. All right? Carla was part of the team. So if you take a look in there, we don't have any extra verb. Si ven, básicamente no tenemos ningún otro verbo adicional. All right. Okay, good. So I guess we are just getting on with this information. Now let's try to move. Okay, so we got this one. It was a good idea, right? This is like taking like, ah, eh, fue una buena idea, right? That's what it really means. Good, if you want to take notes about that, people, let's do it. Let me know when you finish copying this information because I need to move on. Is that real? You got a headache or what? My God, you should learn like your classmates, you see. Debería aprender los compañeros. Mire, cuando los compañeros se están durmiendo, ahí apagan la cámara. 
<laughs> you put the notebook instead. Are you doing... todo, por eso tengo el tiempo para poder dormir mientras yo termino. Are you doing planas? <laughs> I thought you were doing planas or something like that. <laughs> Look at that SpongeBob, man. It was funny. Hi, Ceci. Me no, llega su voz de esponja. No, me me <laughs> I really love your SpongeBob. <laughs> Yeah, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Let's continue. Uh, we got some examples, but using the simple passive we, all right, in this case, with where. Roberto, help me read this one. We, you, we use where with you, we, they, and plural noun. Ah, okay, very good. So in this case, it's like when we talk mostly about plurals, right? Good, so we've got a series of examples over here. Cristina, help me read in the first one. Cristina, you got the microphone off. <laughs> You were in your office yesterday. Ah, okay, very good. Te vieron el fondo de ahí. What? Para que se Ah, para que no se vea el barro. What happened, Roberto? El fondo de Iris, de Ceci. Yeah, man, I was, that, that's, man, I, I, we were making fun of that back in the past. That's why I was saying, man, look at that SpongeBob. Uh, lo único que solo hay que enseña a ella, ¿eh? Para arriba. Sí, es que mi estrategia ¿Eh? para que no me vean con sueño. Ok. Solo, solo, solo le ve el pez del cabello, dice. Claro que no, no tengo frizz. No me ofende, pinche. Bueno, no sé. O oh, han de ser las, 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 las cositas de SpongeBob. That's why. Yo creo que sí. Ella me es su, ey, Ruth. Eh, bueno, sí. Y la Ruth ya está, ya está tomando su, su, su consejo, eh. No, sí. También es táctica, Ruth. Eso me llega. Más, más, más práctica no puede optar Ruth. ¿no? Ah, solo malas Ahí consejos. se va a poder dormir. Solo malos consejos. Al ratito vamos a escucharla roncando. ¿no? All right. Yes, man. All right. MC. Sí. Señora frente de Ceci. Read the next one. Ok. Eh... ¿Cuál era la primera o la segunda? The second one. Mm. We were excellent co-workers. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, good. So let us remember, in that case, you're talking about what? You're talking about something in plural and in the past, of course, right? Good. So check this one out. This is another one. Katherine, can you help me out reading this one? They were in a different department. Ah, okay, very good. They were, it says, in a different department. Good, so you're talking about what? You're talking about a plural form, right? A plural form. Good. So let's remember, people, once again, was and were don't need an extra verb, right, in sentences. Why? Because they are part of the verb to be. Okay. Good. So let's start over. Cool. Let's take a look at the simple past affirmative statements. Good. When do we use the simple past, Ruth? I don't I, I don't want you to fall asleep. I need to wake up. Yes, Christina. Voy a poner la pantalla anterior para darle captura de pantalla. Ok, give me one second. Por favor. Y para, 
Y para los que dijeron que si podían apagar la cámara, ni el pastel. La voy a apagar porque, mire, solo a mí me pregunta porque ve que estoy abostezando, pero no estoy dormida. It's, it's because you're... Uh, Entonces, uh -huh. si apago uh -huh. la cámara, no me va a ver abostezar. Entonces, va a preguntar a otro. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ya, teacher. Gracias. Okay, good. Good. So, let's move out. So, when do we use the simple past affirmative statements, people? Hmm? Cuando usamos el pasado simple. Afirmativo. In what situation do we use them? Uh -huh. uh, we use simple past, affirm uh -huh. affirmative statement to tell about something that they is that ah, it's a uh -huh. in the past and finish in the past. Ah, okay. Como para decir que hicimos una acción en el pasado. Yeah, exactly. It's like that. Thank you, Ruth. Remember, we use the simple past to talk about actions that started in the past and finished in the past. Right? That's it. Actions that started in the past and finished in the past. That's like the definition that we can have about right, uh, this type of uh, structures. Okay, and remember, all right, related to the structure, remember that the structure, the most common structure for a simple past affirmative statement is the subject, verb in simple past, and complement. That's all you need to remember, okay? I'm going to write it down in here because I think I did it. I forgot to, to put it there. Right. Remember, the, the structure for a simple past statement is like this. You need a subject plus verb, this verb in past. Okay. And then after this verb, you need a complement. This is a very, very easy structure just to manage. So check this out, we're gonna we're gonna have some examples. Like this one. Very short examples. Roberto, let's read. I worked yesterday. I worked yesterday. Okay. Good, good. So we got in there a subject, in this case I worked. That's the verb in simple past, right? And yesterday is just a complement. Recuerden que algo bien interesante y bien importante de mencionar acá cuando creamos oraciones en pasado es que las time expressions o expresiones de tiempo juegan un papel fundamental acá. Por lo general, casi siempre las colocamos. Y recuerden que una time expression siempre va al final, right? Siempre el final de la oración. Nunca en medio. Lo general es al final. Good. Y recuerden también que, pues, las time expressions más comunes para el simple past eran yesterday, right? Last night, last week, last month, last year, right? Five minutes ago, one day ago, two days ago, one week ago, two weeks ago, one month ago, one year ago, right? Depending on what we really want to, you know, like, mention or talk about. All right, so we got another one. Celsi, how you are you reading? You did the homework. Okay, cool. That was simple, right? You did the homework. 
Good. Let's keep going. Uh, uh, uh. Jocelyn, are you there? Estaba ahí. O oh, está. Where is Jocelyn? Jocelyn. No, so she went. Oscar, are you there, Oscar? All right, neither, neither Oscar, Jesus Christ, where is everybody? Cristina. No, your teacher. La teacher. Ah. La teacher. Okay, Oscar is there. Give me one second, Christina. Mm -hmm. I think Oscar is there. Oscar, are you okay. busy? Okay. Example three. She played soccer last weekend. All right. In that case, she played soccer last weekend. Okay, very good. In este caso, si ven okay. ahí la time expression es last weekend. Last right. weekend, huh? That's correct. ¿Qué estamos haciendo ahí? Estamos hablando sobre acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado, right? And it doesn't have any relevance in the simple present. All right, good. Any question, people? Any doubt with this information? No? Okay. Good. Si no hay preguntas, ¿podrían darme un pequeño ejemplo de esta forma, de esta estructura, please? So that way I, I need to be sure. ¿Podrían mencionarme una acción que ustedes han hecho ya sea este día o ayer o la semana pasada o whatever, people? Just let me know when you finished, all right? Okay, Ruth, let's go. Uh, I went to the market in the morning. I went to the market in the morning. Okay, very good. That's well corrected. Thank you. Somebody else? I I ate oysters on the weekend. Ah, okay, very good. I ate oysters on the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Ceci? Um, yesterday I enjoyed and now I'm... Yesterday? I didn't listen to the last part, uh, Ceci. Very... No, pues ahí, ahí sí no nos vamos a entender. Si usted le dice así, yo... No, todavía es el sonido, Dios mío. Ya me escucha, todavía no. A mí se me hace que usted tenía un bostezo de a dos, de a dos, así, de a, do, de a dos metros. No. ¿Y por qué ¿Cómo? piensa eso? Porque Ruth estaba haciéndole así. Ah, no. <laughs> okay, good. Uh -huh. Read that part again because I didn't listen that much. Okay. Uh, yesterday, I endured an hour and a half of traffic. 
I was very, very tired. <laughs> okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> cool. Somebody else? The teacher. Okay, let's go. About a pants in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else. Teacher. Uh huh. What? Uh, what? Uh, yesterday. Es válido. Pero watch de, de ver ver qué. No watch de lavar. <laughs> ah, okay. That's watch it. Washed. Se escribe, pero se pronuncia con T al final. Washed. Watch. 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 Solo watch. La E y la D la quito. Okay. Ah, no, 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 no. En pronunciación. En pronunciación es con T. Pero eh, en escritura es con ED. Ah, no, que sí, en la pronunciación la quito. Ajá. A la hora de pronunciar. Yes. Okay. yes. Watch. Y, yes. Y, y, y ponemos nada más la, la, la T. Les gusta okay. mi, 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 mi jarra de agua. Ok. Good. No la vi, yo no la vi. <laughs> es pequeña. Like... Ah, está bonita. Yeah. <laughs> ya de un but solo para no estarse I, sirviendo I, a cada rato. I gotta take garrafón, it everywhere. everywhere. Un garrafón tiene el teacher. You know, I drink two of those during the day. Very well, teacher. Mm -hmm. It's because I'm starting. I'm starting going to the gym, and so and 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 that makes me, you know, like be more uh, hydrated. Today was my first day, and probably the last one because uh, I'm in pain. But anyways, that's cool. Um, <laughs> Mario, give me your example, Mario. Este Mario viene bien callado ahora. Ya se lo dije el segundo en dárselo, teacher. I I oyster on the weekend. Ah, yeah, I mean, I thought you were like like the last one. Hmm. Okay, cool. By the way, how's your tooth? Mario. What? How's your tooth? ¿Cómo está mi diente? La... 90% bien. Yo pensé que me iba a decir, mire, aquí lo tengo ya. No. <laughs> ok. Entonces, entonces, uh, hard now? Ya no duele. No, ya no. Ya no. Ah, ok. Mira, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad to hear that, man. Ese es de los peores dolores que no se le desea a nadie. Yeah. Uh. Uh. The sucks. Okay, good. Uh, who else hasn't participated? Roberto, did you participate already? Okay, let's go, man. Let's go. I drank coffee in the morning. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, mister. Hmm. Somebody else. Da -da 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 -da. Let me see, let me see who's Marily. I don't remember if you have given given me an example. <laughs> okay. I went to do exercise with my cousin. Ah, you went to do exercise with your cousin? Yeah. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <sighs> I just started today and probably I'm going to go the next week. Comencé ahora yo igual, pero creo que... Debido a problemas técnicos, voy a ir hasta la otra semana de nuevo. Y así va a decir la otra semana. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, that was a good starting. ¿Sabe cuánto, uh -huh. sabe, sabe cuánto duré tratando? Uh -huh. Dos minutos. Ay, Dios. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's something. Ya es algo. Uh -huh. ¿Qué rutina iba a ser que duró solo dos minutos? Ah, 
No, es que iba tratando de mi trabajo al gym y, y ya nomás ahí ya llegué cansado. Ay, sí, es caro este I mean, it's Navidad. true, it's true. Más que queda así como en una subida, así. Me sirvió Ay, ya de ahí, Dios. ya no, ahí ya no pagué, ya no pagué el gym, entonces. Ay, Dios. Yo el domingo fui a caminar, me tardé dos horas caminando. No. Uh -huh. <ríe> Solo caminando, pues. Yo le voy a hacer unas 10 estaciones y voy caminando una, una distancia así. <ríe> Ay, no, qué realidad. <ríe> no, yo pensé que iba a andar así como que adolorida porque me tocó rutina de piernas, pero no. Ah, no, no, no siento tanto. Uh -huh. Ay, qué chido. That's cool. That's cool. That is Tiene nice. que intentar y no procas. Ah. Nada, I'm, I'm gonna try, man. I'm gonna try. That's what I'm trying. You see, I, I now I started doing from my my work to the gym. Probably mm -hmm. tomorrow I will enter to the gym. Mm -hmm. Probably the next no day to pay. Judy. Could you give me an example to this? Okay, I traveled to La Unión last week. Really? Yes. Part of your job? As part of mm -hmm. your job or just uh, for relaxing? Uh, this is my family. You got family in La Unión? Yes. Ah, okay. I mean, that's the, the Sunday I travel at La Unión. Uh, so it means you are not a hundred percent originally from from San Miguel. Or, no, no soy ah, originally. You just live in San Miguel, but your parents and family it's are from La Unión. Yes. Ah. That's cool. That's cool. That's nice. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I guess you were the last person to participate because the other ones are just like they're expecting. <laughs> okay. Let's move, people. Let's move. Those ones were related to positive statements. Remember, and these ones are negative statements. And I got the structure over here. Check this out. Let's start with the structure of sentences using the verb to be in simple past. For example, <laughs> Roberto, help me reading this one. I was not excited. Ah, okay. I was not excited. Cool, Carla. You were not in the ceremony. Ah, okay, cool. You were not in the ceremony. All right. Si ven ahí, básicamente, ¿qué es lo único que hacemos? Colocar el not justo después del verbo to be. Okay. And we make a positive statement into a negative statement. Right. That's what we generally do. Cool. So let's take a look at the, law, the, the, the other one, right? <laughs> Somebody singing in the all right. He was not a teacher, it says. Okay, that's something negative. Take a look at this one. Oh, do -do -do -do. let me see, let me see, let me see. Oscar, help me read in that one. Okay. She was not. She, she was not a member of the company. Ah, okay, very good. She was not a member of the company, right? I mean, ella no era miembro de la empresa. Esa compañía. Exactly, exactly. Good. So let's remember, was not, were not, right? That's the common structure to make negative statements 
Good. Let's continue. All right, let's continue with negative statements, but in this case, using didn't or did not. Recuerden que cuando usamos esta estructura, all right, del did plus not, después de esta parte, después del did y el not, recuerden que did en este caso ya es un verbo auxiliar. Por lo tanto, el verbo principal que indica la acción en la oración tiene que ir en forma base, okay, in base form, right? Yeah. You will see a couple of examples in here, yes? Eh, ¿Verdad que en el ejemplo donde dice he did, le falta la N, didn't? Exactly. I was sleeping la root when I was doing that. In that case, didn't with N. The N is missing. Thank you for the observation, Carla. Es la nueva traducción del título. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Amen. Le voy a dejar el modo de la root. Okay. Let me see. Let's continue here. All right, so check out this example, right? The N is missing in that case. All right. He didn't meet his wife six years ago. What do I mean by that? Estamos hablando ahí. ¿Qué quiero decir ahí? Let me see if you remember that part. He didn't meet his wife six years ago. Ah, I mean, ella, eh, en este caso, él no conoció a su esposa hace seis años, right? That's what it means. Check this one out. Mm -mm. Let me see who can help me out. Very few people that just got connected. Ceci? <laughs> what happens is he le está, pic le está picando la nose a, a Spongebob <laughs> or what me escucho yes okay. <laughs> um, ok I didn't graduate from the university <laughs> ok very good I didn't graduate mm -hmm. from the university ah no me gradué de la universidad dice Good, to eat. They didn't watch a movie yesterday. Nah, okay, perfect. Perfect. Mario. You didn't go to the bed early. Ah, okay, very good. You didn't go to the bed early. Good. Good. Yeah, I mean, like me yesterday. <laughs> it was two in the morning and I was awakening. That's nice. That's nice. Good. Let's take out the other one. <laughs> Let me see if this person is in here. Maria Elena, are you there? Maria Elena, are you there? No, she's not there. Uh, Marily. Let's read, Marily. Okay. ¿Cuál sería? <clears throat> the last one. The last one. Okay. She didn't study in the library. All right. She didn't study in the library, right? Okay. Okay. Library. Perfect. 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 Okay. And we got another one over here. E, uh, oh, Christina. Yes, teacher. Read the last one. Uh, well, we did. We didn't buy a cake for you. 
Ah, okay. We didn't buy a cake for you. Right? It's like, ah, mi, no te compramos pastel. <laughs> okay. Good. So, in this case, remember, we're talking about something negative. Good. And uh, what were those examples of those activities, people, that you were not doing today? ¿Podrían darme un ejemplo sobre algo que no hayan hecho este día? Hmm. For example, in my case, mi ejemplo sería, hmm, I didn't go to the concert tonight. Everybody's going to the concert and, and just me, man, staying in the class como persona responsable. I got a concert in here, like, let me see. Like 10 blocks away from my house. Como a 10 cuadras de la casa. Yeah. There's a concert. Okay. And I'm so sad. I didn't go. <laughs> uh, do, you know, do, do you know this guy that is called Jerry Rivera? Yeah. So that's yeah. that, that person. Ayer fue mm -hmm. No, right now. Ahora, oh. I, let me see. Ya casi se va a presentar el güey ese. Teacher, puede ir, le damos la hora libre. <laughs> nah, it's too crowded. Ya está demasiado yeah. lleno, aparte de que eh, la entrada era gratis. Ya se imaginará cómo está. Ay, ahí. Dios. Va a llegar de todo ahí. Todavía se me va a ahí. Oye, no. Yes. La otra semana el teacher incapacitado. Uh, next. Next. Exactly, man. Exactly. That's why I didn't go. Uh, no. Uh, it's going to finish on... Uh, let me see. When is 27? Domingo. Bro. Domingo, teacher. So, that day. Ese día termina. Mm, qué lástima. No, pero puede ir, teacher. Tranquilo, nosotros aquí... Eh, ah, the carnival. Ah, o sea que son varios días. Yes. Ah, yo pensé que era solo un día. No. Ah. Pero tiene Dios, que mira, ir a bailar. Mire, Dios sabe por qué lo tiene guardado, tío. Exacto. Andarse arriesgando en esos lugares. Mejor estar guardadito. Exactly. Exactly. It's better. Ah, let's continue. You got the examples? Ya tienen los ejemplos. If you got them, turn on the microphone and read them for me, okay? Yo lo tengo. Okay. Yo tengo, yo ya lo tengo. Okay, good. Read it. Leandro. Okay, I didn't watch the World Cup matches yesterday. I didn't watch the World Cup matches. Mm, del mundial, ¿cómo se... Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, yesterday. Mm -hmm. La decepción, hermano, me levanté a las cuatro <laughs> de la mañana. For nothing, man, for nothing. <laughs> Ah, man, I, I, I'm angry because of that. De pelados y tristes fuimos a trabajar, dicho. Exactly, man. Nunca me había despertado a buena mañana por una buena razón, bien happy y todo. Ni para ir a trabajar, me despierto con esa energía. Así me dijeron a mí. Everything. Todo para que perdiera, man. No, no posible. Exactly. Y así como que... Tipo el, el meme de, de Homero Simpson saliendo de los arbustos ya con la camisa de Alemania <laughs> for today y vuelve a perder. <laughs> Así que no, no, no. I won't support anybody right now. Impossible. Okay, good. Uh, Roberto, give me your example. Okay. Um, 
Quiero ver. I DM send an um, email to yesterday. Yesterday, okay, cool. Mario, <laughs> give me yours. I didn't dinner today. I didn't dinner today. In that case, it, it, it would be I didn't have dinner. I didn't have dinner. Uh, That's correct. Y si te digo también este, I didn't support my food. I didn't support my food. Yeah, I mean, that one is mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Somebody else? Alguien más que ya lo haya terminado? That's okay. Okay, let's go. I didn't take an a nap in the afternoon. I didn't take a nap in the afternoon. Yes. I was I was planning on taking a nap today, but it's like ah. Uh, como cuando llega bien tranquilo este man queriendo tomar una siesta y es cuando más se ponen a platicar con este así como que bla bla bla. Uh -huh. Ah, que pedo. Here I want to sleep and you cannot do anything. Uh, <laughs> Teacher. Let's go, Cristina. Let's go. I, I didn't do the homework. Ah, okay, cool. I didn't do the homework. You're honest. Pero ya la voy a hacer, teacher. Esa es una pedrada así como indirecta, bien directa, o como. No, un jalón de oreja yo sola. <laughs> okay. All right. I like that. Mari. Qué alto ese techo, Marín. Ah, ok. Dígame. Did you give me your example, Marilyn? Ah, ok. Ok. I didn't make the lunch for tomorrow. Mm, ok. All right. Thank you. Okay. Sensu. Hello. Uh, you haven't given me your example, right? Says he. Says he. Is Bob? Are you there? Hola. Ah, ok. Now I got you. Ahora sí. Yeah. Mm, right. Uh, I didn't go to sleep early yesterday. Ah, ok. Very good. I didn't go to sleep. Ok. Perfect. Ah, really? You didn't go to sleep early yesterday? Yes. What time yesterday, you went? I... What time you went to bed? Uh, 12 30 p.m. 12 30 a.m. No, p.m. Next to class. Ah. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't understand that part, but now I got you. I got it. Okay, perfect, perfect. There you go. Let me see any other example that it might, might be missing. No, I guess everybody has already participated, right? Okay, let's continue. The just no questions. All right. Let's take a brief look at this one before we move on. Recuerden que una just no question se compone de did plus object plus base form of the verb plus complement and the question mark at the end. And we got a series of examples over here just for you to get, as I said, an idea. All right. It says, did you have class yesterday? Did you have class yesterday? 
Remember, one way to answer this type of question is, yes, I did. I worked yesterday. Oh, just simply, yes, I did. And that's it. And if it is negative, you got both ways. No, I didn't. All right? Que es lo más corto, la tipo de respuesta más corto que podemos tener. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't work yesterday. You see? That's the way. All right, so let's go. Okay, check this out, this couple of examples. Uh, Judith, help me out reading this one. Did you call to check your car? All right, did you call yeah, a... Yeah. Hello? Hola, amiga, Judith. Sorry. Ah, you're saying hi to Judith. <laughs> ah, después, yes. de dejar, después de dejarla abajo, mire, Judith, todos estos días que la he estado enviando a trabajar con usted, no. se desconecta, se desconecta. Así, así, así. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué es así? <laughs> así como. Me está dejando mal con la Judith. Me. Ajá. Yeah. No he podido. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Good. Take this out. Ruth, don't say no, Ruth. Read. Usted gasolina, teacher. Yes. Usted me quiere leche leña al fuego. Usted gasolina. Fire, fire. <laughs> Let's put on fire. <laughs> Pobre Judith, pobrecita. <laughs> Ah, sí, hombre, lo que le, le hacen no es justo. Ayer me mandó un grupo donde tampoco la otra compañera se unió yo solita en el grupo 4. Exactly, exactly. So I had to move her. Le echa la culpa a usted, ¿verdad? Ruth, read, Ruth. Let's read, Ruth. ¿Ves cómo? Ah, vaya, estoy bien. Yes, I did, teacher. Uh -huh. I called a mechanic to check my car. Okay, good. Recuerden que tienen estas dos opciones para modo de respuesta. Yes, I did. Y luego lo demás. I called the mechanic to fix my car, right? That's one way you can do it. The other way around, y la forma más sencilla, pues simplemente es, yes, I did. And that's it. Right? Good. So you got another one, Mario. Did she pay? Did she pay extra money? All right. Did she pay extra money? That's what you got over there. Cool. And the answer, remember, no, she didn't. It says she didn't pay extra money. All right. Good. So let's move on. Let me see. This is another, I, I don't got options. Where to choose in here? Hmm. Okay, Carla, help me reading, Carla. Did we receive a receive? report? Receive, receive a report? Ah, okay, cool. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did if it is positive. No, we didn't if it's negative, right? Esa es la forma más corta de poder negar. Okay, good. I think it's, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty good for you guys, this part. So I'm not going to stop that much over here. So let's move. Ah, in here is a little bit different, right? This is the info, uh, this is the topic that we were discussing last night. All right? Information questions. 
Okay, and we got the structure over here. All right, remember here we just generally start these things with WH words. ¿Cuáles son esas WH words? Recuerden, what, what time, where, when, which, who, with, right? Right, and why. Okay, so let's move. Okay, check this out. <laughs> Jose, could you please help me out reading the first question? Um, where did you go yesterday? Okay, very good. Where did you go yesterday? It says, ¿A dónde fuiste ayer? Right? And it says in there, I went to the office yesterday. Ah, fui a la oficina ayer. That's what you got over there. Roberto? What time did you finish the homework? Okay, good. Answer? Check that out. It says, I finished the homework at 7 p.m. All right. At 7 p.m. Okay, good. With this information, people, did you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? Any question, people, that you might have, that, that we might solve over here? No? Okay. Perfect. Because if you don't have any other question, let me see. Let me see. Cool, I'm gonna stop sharing these things. Okay, cool. What are we going to do right now, people? I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then the rest of the time that is missing, we are going to be focusing on the manuals. Just give me one second, I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Oh, Gabriel Esau. Is it here? Okay, not here. Guadalupe Noemi. Okay, so she's not there. It is Cecilia. Present. Okay. Jorge Ismael. Okay, he's just present there. Jose Moises? Present. Okay, good. Judith Maribel? Present. Cool. Carla Ivania? All right. Carla Lorena? Present. Okay, good. Catherine Guadalupe? Present. Okay, good. Ya llegué, ya llegué, ya le vi la cara. <laughs> ya llegué a mi casa. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kevin Ramiro. Juré que había Kevin por acá. Okay, pero no es esta María Elena. María Elena. Ah, ok. Good. Let me see. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Perfect. Mario Ernesto. Present. Ok. Mónica Marisela. Ok. 
o only are such as working. Oscar Armando. Present. Ah, ok, perfect. Patricia Guadalupe. No, ok. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Excellent. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Very good. Let me see. Ruth, 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 Ruth. Santos, Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, good. Then we got the last person. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie. Okay, which is not here, I guess. So let's try to move on this part. Hmm. Okay, perfect. Uh, people, let's try it up just to start with the pending activities that we got related to the manual. Así que quiero que abran sus manuales because I am going to explain what are we going to do because the rest of the class is just going to be a practice for you guys. All right? And we are going to start up that practice from this page. Y acá es donde vamos a comenzar esa práctica. All right? On page what? On page 36. Página 36. Okay? What are we going to do here? All right? <laughs> That's a cool trick. All right, so let's continue. ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá en esta parte, people? Listen, si ven, tenemos los inicios de un par de preguntas, ¿ok? De information questions. Tenemos what, how did you, why did you, where did you, right? And check that out. Who did you? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esas All right, inicios de pregunta. Pues básicamente lo que quiero es que usted me elabore esas preguntas. ¿Cómo así? Básicamente me escoge el verbo. Ahí dice con relación al artículo, pero no lo vamos a hacer al artículo. Lo vamos a hacer de modo un tanto libre para que tenga un poco más de, digamos, verbos que, que, que poder encontrar para ustedes. So in this case, agréguenmele un verbo. All right, en un complemento a este tipo de inicios de preguntas. Recuerden, verbo, right, complement, un complement. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir acá, What did you, listen up, check this out. What did you eat last night? Y la respuesta podría ser, I ate a salad after class. Like this. You see? Si arriba dice, what did you eat last night? ¿Qué comiste anoche? So acá yo en este tipo de respuesta... Soy libre de escoger el vocabulario con relación al verbo eat que yo pueda usar. En este caso, I ate pizza after class. I ate, uh, what? Chicken, right? Last night, right? Whatever. Entonces, lo que me van a hacer es completar esos espacios con un verbo adicional, ¿ok? That's what you got on the first stage. Y eso es lo que tenemos al principio de acá. Perfect. Now, let's move. Ok. Una vez, people, que hayamos terminado esta parte, vamos a bajar a la siguiente parte. Donde dice, write the missing letters to complete the words. Acá ustedes tienen los inicios de array, ciertas palabras que necesitan ser completadas. Ok. ¿Sobre qué son las palabras? 
Si dice write the missing letters to complete the words, estas básicamente son las que podemos encontrar al inicio de la unidad de esta semana. ¿Ok? You will find it there. Una vez que hayamos llenado esta parte, pues vamos a pasar para acá. ¿Qué dice acá, people? Listen. Write adjectives to show a customer satisfaction and dissatisfaction about Piche. a... Yes. No sé si solo yo no puedo ver la pantalla. No, yo tampoco. No lo mismo. Pensé que era solo Ajá, se, se ha quedado en la misma página. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí. Oh, yes. Uy, esa cosa está rara. Ok, va a eh, Entonces, estas eran las, estas eran las, eh, las palabras que les mencionaba, que les, cuales van a nada más a terminar de complementar con las letritas que faltan, ok, and you will find out in here, in this, in this unit, and this one is the last part, at, at least, from this page, que dice, listen, write adjectives to show customers satisfaction or dissatisfaction about a product, satisfaction and dissatisfaction, and I guess we got another one, miren, En esta parte acá creo que sí hemos estado hablando mucho de satisfacción y, 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 y cosas de insatisfechos. Así que esta parte por el momento la vamos a obviar. Si tenemos el tiempo, al final lo vamos a hacer. I'm going to tell you. ¿Por qué? Porque me gustaría que pasaran exactamente justo después de lo que van a hacer arriba, que pasen directamente a esta, a esta parte acá. All right. ¿Qué es esta parte? ¿Sobre qué es? Dice, simple past. Transform the negative sentences into positive ones. Si ven, a su izquierda está una serie de oraciones, ¿ok? Que están en qué? En negativo. Lo que usted va a hacer acá con el compañero que va a ir a trabajar es ponerle a un lado a esa oración, pero de forma positiva. Entonces, simplemente cambiar el tiempo, la estructura, la forma, right? Si yo acá digo, check this out, just to put an example, si yo digo, she didn't buy that computer, ¿cómo sería esa oración en afirmativo? She did buy the computer. That computer. Exactly, like this. Ya el did, recuerden, no va. En la respuesta no va. En, en, en positivo no va. All right? Solo en negativo. El did. Entonces quedaría así. El verbo por obligación se transforma en pasado. Ok? Let's remember that part. Cool. So this is pretty much what we are going to be doing the rest of the class just to, you know, like practice these structures. But esta parte la voy a explicar hasta que ya vayamos llegando ahí. Okay. Cuando ya estemos terminando esta en los grupos. So I'm going to stop sharing this information and I'm going to send you to work. Okay. Uh, all right. Para los que tienen la cámara apagada, ¿quiénes están activos y podemos participar? Mi teacher. Who? José. ¿Quién más? Yo, teacher. Ah, ok. Perfect, Catherine. Solo José en Catherine. ¿Los demás? Oscar, Jocelyn, Marilyn. Yes. Ah, okay. Estoy. Let me see. I'm gonna do it manually. Let me see.
Let me see. Okay. Good people. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Okay, let's accept it. The ones who are there. Yes, what happened to you? Estoy sola. Hoy que puedo trabajar, nadie quiere trabajar. No, no creo que no se pudo conectar. Ok, let me see. ¿Dónde están estos? Bueno, ya la voy a mandar al grupo, permítame. Por mí no me enojo, estoy cenando. No, but let's go, let's go to one group. Lo voy a mandar al número dos. Vaya. Bueno, ahí va. That was funny. Oh, somos un grupo de cuatro. <ríe> Why four? Only three, men. Ahí está Catherine también. Ya te teacher también. Ah, porque nos ayude. <ríe> <ríe> No, 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 no. Vale, le voy a ayudar en esa. En el pastel, ahí no van bien. Porque sí, Ken, bien. porque Ken es un verbo uh, modal. Recuerden, Ken no puede ir con el auxiliar did. ¿Sí recuerdan que ah. Ken es su propio verbo también auxiliar? Ah, es su propio verbo en todos los Correcto. tiempos. Correcto. Ahí solo pongan swim. Ah, no, pero es que ni aún. Eh, tienen que co es colocar un verbo que, 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 que quieran ustedes saber. Ah, ok. What did you watch? ¿Qué viste? No, 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 no. Sin, 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 sin la palabra TV. What did you watch? ¿Qué viste? Ahí está bien. Y en la respuesta puede decir, I watch TV. Así. That's, that, what did you watch on Monday? Ajá. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Se lo va a poner. I wash it. I cambia. Watch. Watch. Mm -hmm. Correct. TV. TV. Correctly. Correctly. I watch it. TV. Movies. Okay. You got to hurry up with that, people. Okay. No se vayan a entretener mucho ahí. I L L S I I. ¿Sí? Ajá. 
LLS, Bills. Así, 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 así. Esa se tiene la 1. Do Mario, ustedes, ¿qué dice? Pero vamos a borrar eso. Chévere. Para que no nos Ah, ok. ¿Qué do you pay? Yes, sir. Está bien. ¿Sí está bien, teacher? Yes. Ok. Pueden agregarle yes a Jay también en la respuesta. Bill yesterday. Uh -huh. Uh, did you que podemos poner y con el how how uh -huh. es quién no es cómo creo cómo ah ok oh. how did... ah sí sí es cómo es Vamos a poner, no sé, how did you send the order? ¿Cómo, cómo enviaste la, el pedido o la orden? ¿El pedido? Sí. How did you, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero no sé si está bien, dicho. How did you... Sí, how did you send the order? Yeah, solo uh -huh. the order. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. está bien. Yes. Entonces, vamos a poner. I sent, I sent the order by. I sent the order. I sent the order by email. Uh -huh. ¿Y ahora sería la respuesta? Yo empecé a... Es, el verbo pasado es... ¿Cómo es la forma? Pasado de estar. De estar. Sí. Estar. O sea, estar... O sea, después de la T, E ed, de... Ay, estar. Uh -huh. Así. Ok. En ese es why, es, ese es por qué. Yes. Vean, si lo no bien. Bien, mal. No que Cristina's face, así como que, ay, ya la regamos. No, let me see. What did you do yesterday? I, no, la respuesta no es eat. Tiene que ser eat, pero en pasado. Eight. Eight. 
How did you do mm. your homework? Uh, no, la respuesta, recuerden, tienen que poner los verbos en pasado. Pasado. Ahí los tienen en presente. En la segunda igual tienen el verbo mal, tiene que ser pasado. ¿Cómo es, ¿Cuál es el pasado del libro? ¿El pasado de? Sí. Ah, ED, regular. Lived. Revisen esa respuesta oh, wow. de las cinco. Oh, wow. Jefe. Uh. ¿No te parece? B O S S. -S. -S. No, B O S. -S. Ah, sí, 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 sí. ¿Cómo? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? S S. Algunas personas como la Sofía. Es with you now. Es K. Now. Sí. No, ajá. Sí, yeah. Ajá. In the party. In, it's in the party or at party. En la. Sí. In the party. Ajá. party. ¿A quién conociste en la fiesta? El now ahora sería. Creo I que. New. I knew. ¿Cómo? Quiero ver, es A, es K, N, E, W. Sí. Sí, I knew. Your friend. Yo conocí. Uh, A un amigo sería Jur. Ah, un Ay. amigo. Ajá, exacto. Pero no sé si conocí, es ni o con, conocer o es meet. Conocí a un nuevo cliente, no sé. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Meet. Client. Meet es verdad, Tiche. Yes. Meet. Uh -huh. Así, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Solo que si es la respuesta sería met. Doble E. No, una E. Ah, ah, ¿sí? ah ¿Así como ah, lo escribí? Sí. Correcto, ese es el pasado de meet. Ajá, ¿verdad que sí? New client. Client, client, ajá. Client, sí. 
Exacto, sí, puede Ok, así, puede le van, ser. A, Uh -huh. le van a tomar captura. Sí, permítame. Okay. Hecho. Ahora la no ver. Me avisa. Ya, yo ya, sí, ya, ya está. Okay, aquí ya Escribe está vacío. las. Ajá, eso es como ordenar, dijo el teacher, va. No, es completar. Completar, La, ah. la... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The ones information. Que te Aquí. las palabras. Uh -huh. yes. Ah, casi los casi los terminaba <ríe> en lo que el teacher hacía los grupos la eh, qué chivo <ríe> information vaya información este porque es ajá pay verdad pay ajá Mi uniforme. No, ahí sería my mom primero. Porque acuérdense que le está preguntando quién. Entonces sería my mom wash. Ajá. My uniform. My. Bien. Está eso. Ahora. Aquí. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? A completar las frases, dijo. Según las palabras, las letras que tenemos aquí. <ríe> Yo solo la tercera. La E. Puedo. <ríe> Esta creo que también puede ser. Bye. Bye. My goodness. Creo que las siete es Sao. Yo creo. Uh -huh. Sí. CLL. Así. Veo. Este. Understand. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Visit, creo, oh, no, 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 no. <ríe> uh, ¿De dónde tomaron esas palabras? Dijo tu show. Ah, from the, the beginning. The beginning of the unit. Vámonos a la página 29. Ok. Aquí está. Mm 
Ay, a ti me falta. En este help. Help. Mm. A Receive. Receive. Uh -huh. Ahí en la 11, abajo, Ay, en la palabra de abajo es información. Oh. Uh -huh. mm. La de arriba no sé. La de arriba dice que es provide. Ah, ok. So, provide one. Oh, provide. Así. Uh -huh. Las otras. Ahora hay. Se bajó mucho. Aquí. La cuatro. Ay. Esta es. Voy a apagar un ratito el micrófono, solo voy al baño. Ok. Ya nos vinieron, a, ya nos tienen en la mira. ¿eh? <risa> Ay, no sé ¿Cuál es el pasado? ¿Cuál es el pasado de Rin? Grot. Grot. Así. Yes. Teacher, no pudimos hacer, es la de arriba. Ay, También ya le está cerrando los ojitos al teacher. ¿Cómo fue? <risa> Estas ah. están difíciles. Mele. Váyanse a la, pag <risa> sí. Váyanse a la página 29. Ahí está el detalle. Oh. Ah. Ah. Qué barbaridad, teacher. <ríe> es que uno que no dice un solo tipo. Les, les dije, está este vocabulario al principio de la unidad. No nos dio las pistas de Blutich. Copy paste. <ríe> las pistas bueno. de Blutich. Vale, pero ya sabemos, entonces podemos terminar la Ah, pues no le pusimos atención, dicho. Correcto, correcto. Es que raro va a ser, quizás. Vale, Yo siendo cortés, ¿verdad? No, no, no diciendo, ay, qué raro. Ay, dicho. ¿Y, es, y, y okay. SpongeBob? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Dónde está SpongeBob? 
Está dormido ahorita. Está dormido. Ok. Ah, pero sí estaba bien la, la cuatro, ¿ve? Bueno, ahorita estamos en esto. No sé si a este la muchacha se la sacó sumo algo, pero quedé solita aquí. ¿Con quién estaba? Oh my goodness. No me diga que no se acuerda. ¿Cómo, Marilyn? <risa> es que estaba igual que yo la pantalla con Judith, creo. Creo, no me recuerdo. Oh, sí, tendría que ser Judith. Es que estaba igual que yo, no, no la veía. O sea, entonces solo le dije que sí podía compartir la pantalla y empezamos a hacer los ejercicios. No me fijé, sinceramente. Y estoy sin mis lentes, así que esa letrita chiquita para mí de lejito es imposible verla. Mm. Give me one second, I'm gonna send a message. No se esté durmiendo. Yo... Espérame que no me contesta esta niña. ¿Será que se le fue el internet? Es que yo creo porque es que cuando... O sea, yo iba para afuera y que le dije, y dije que iba a silenciar el micrófono un momento. Ya no la vi. Ya. Yeah. Y estábamos haciendo los ejercicios. Yeah, I mean, I don't see her connected. Yeah, probably she got problems with the internet. Anyways. No. She doesn't answer. Okay. All right, so give me one second. I'm going to do something. With you. There it is for you to get to know. Let's go into number five. Uh -huh. yeah. Ruido, creo que ruido también. Ajá. Sí, está igual. Uh -huh. Viviendo, Muchas gracias por haberme acompañado. They cancel it. The meeting.
Sí. Uh, no sé, revísenlo ahí. Uh, uh. Nos encontramos en Costa Rica y hoy vamos a dar una caminata por el Parque Arenal 1968. Llamado así por el Parque mm. Arenal. Sí, todo bien. Está bien. Va. Ah, pues entonces ya terminamos. Yo, ¿De don? Yes. Ok, perfecto. Let's go to the main section. Ok. Vamos a la sala principal entonces. I'm going to check there. Ok. Ah, pues entonces. All right, people, so I guess everybody has already finished, right? With uh, uh, that part that you were doing. So I'm gonna take this thing and uh, let me see. Okay, let's start checking what you got in there, people. I just need the participation to some of you just to get acquaintance to what you got, what you have. Okay, Roberto, could you please read in number one? What you got in number one? Y alguien de su, con quien usted participó que me dé la respuesta? Okay, teacher. What did you watch on Monday? Sí. Alguien que estuvo trabajando <laughs> con eh, Roberto. I watch a horror movie. Naha, uh -huh, okay, very good. I watched a horror movie. Okay, thank you. Thank you, people. Ruth, read number two. How did you do your homework? How did you do? Do your homework. Nah. All right. How did you do your homework? Yes. Oh, me seleccioné uno de sus compañeros que me responde esa pregunta. Cristina. Okay. I just. The information seen in class. Ah, okay. Yeah. Acceptable. Thank you. Thank you. Mario, let's read number three. Why did you buy this house? Why did you buy this house? Escoja uno de sus compañeros que me dé respuesta. Uh, Yo siento que tengo el Seymour. Este, este, Oscar. Ok, okay. good. Sí, don Mario, ok. Yes, I bought this house because it's cheap. Ok, because it's cheap. All right, good, good. Okay. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Gracias a ustedes. Desi, read the question. Desi, are you there, Desi? Hello. Uh, help me out reading the next one. Number four. Yep.
हाँ से से आई यू हैविंग प्रॉब्लम्स कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम okay now now i listen to you where did you live okay where did you live mencione un miembro de su grupo para que me responda esa pregunta Ok, los que estaban con Ceci, ¿podrían responderme esa pregunta? ¿De where did you, did you live? Where did you live? Mm -mm. I live in San Miguel. I live? I live in San Miguel. Eh, all right, very good. Very good. There you go. Ok, the last question, number five. Uh, Oscar. Permítame ahorita. Ya da bueno. Era la, la fiesta, la, 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 la de la fiesta, Oscar. Ah, permítame. Yo <risa> 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 ah, mix. Estaba buscando las <risa> print screen. Ah, pues ese, eh, what did you now in the party? Yes. La respuesta era, I need your, your friend. Let me see. What is it? Who did you? Did you now in the party? Eh... ¿A quién conociste en la fiesta? Ah, no, sí, sí. Creo que la respuesta fue a new, eh, a new client. Pero aquí... I met a new, a new client. All right, pero igual en la pregunta sería: Who did you meet? Ah. Oh. In the party. In the meet. Ah, con una E dijo usted, ¿verdad? Eh, en la respuesta sí, en la pregunta es con doble. Con dos. Uh -huh. Ah, chévere. Ah, pues yes. sí. Corregí eso. Sí. Ah, Gracias. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Ok. Very good. So, you can say, uh, who do you meet in the party? I met uh, my, crazy, my crazy student in the party. It says... I met my boss in the party. I met my husband in the party. All right, uh, so on. You got a variety of things, you know, just to mention. Okay, cool. I think we are not going having time. Vamos a leer la última parte nada más y luego lo demás lo vamos a dejar para el inicio de mañana. Give me one second. A modo de... Feedback. Vámonos nada más a esta parte, ¿ok? I want the participation to some of you guys. Let me see. Cristina, what do you got in number one? ¿Qué tiene la número uno, Cristina? Pick, pick up the, the phone. Pick, pick up, up the phone. phone. Ok, thank pick you, Cristina. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mario, number three. I mean, number two. Bye. Ah. Huh? Bye. Ah, bye. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let me see who else, who else, who else, who else. Catherine. Number three. Uh -huh. Number three, Catherine. Uh, three, cold. Cold. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Number four, Jose.
Excuse me, number? Four. 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 And number four. Yeah. All right. How are you going number get, four? Get, 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 get price. Get prices. Price. Okay. Prices. Okay. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Judith, read the next one. Me salí teacher porque se, me quedé sin internet. Estoy ah, yeah, I mean, it's true, that's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, me acordé, yeah, me acordé. Okay, no problem, forget about that. Carla? Pero eso sí lo tengo. <laughs> okay. okay, read it, read it. Hola. Yes. Number five. Five? Yeah. Okay. Explain. Explain. Ah, okay, good. Explain. Yes. All right, Carla. Perfect. Mm, six, complain. Complain, okay, thank you. Thank you. Ruth, number seven. Help. Help. Okay. Very good. Help. That's what you got. Ceci, read number eight. Yes. What do you say? Ceci, are you there, Ceci? Okay, I guess Ceci got problems with the internet or problems with the audio because I don't listen to her. Uh, Roberto, what do you have in that one? Number eight, no. Mm -hmm. Assist. Assist. Uh, yeah. Okay, very good. Assist. Okay, nice. Uh, Carla, number nine. Oh, the teacher. Number nine. Request, wait, request information. Request information. Number nine. Perdón, perdón. Recite. Receive. Receive, okay, good. Receive, that's what you got. Uh, Oscar, with the next one. Number 10. Yeah. Understand. Understand, okay, perfect. Roberto, number 11. Provide one's information. Ah, okay, very nice. And we got the last one. Let me see. The last one is gonna be four. Let me see. But mm -hmm. it's not working. Blah, 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 blah. Christina, read number 12, Christina. Let me see what you got. What teacher? Number 12. Leame la número 12. Okay. Request information. Okay, very good. Request information. Excellent, people. Perfecto. Las dos partes que nos quedan, all right, las vamos a hacer mañana al principio. Simplemente, eh, pues, básicamente, ya, simplemente checar, right? That's what we got because we already finished. Why do I say that? Because I don't really want to have you here for more than two hours, okay? Good. Recuerden, para los que me deben tarea, please pongámonos al día eh, ahora. Necesito esas tareas, okay? I do really need them, people. So please, uh, uh, I want you to do that favor to me, okay? Hasta la 15. Okay. Yeah, hasta la 15.
Good. Let me see. Gabriel Esaú. No, he didn't get connected. Guadalupe Noemí didn't get connected. Iris Cecilia. Ceci. All right, so probably she's not there. Jorge Ismael. No. Present, present, present. Okay, okay. all right. Jorge Ismael. Oh, uh, you got it there. Muy, Jose Moises. Present, teacher. All right, excellent. Judith Maribel. Present. Very good. Let's move out. Carla Ivania. All right, she left. Carla Lorena. Present. Okay, good. Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Excellent. Kevin Ramiro. Okay. Uh, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, Maria Elena. All right, so she's there, but probably she's busy. Marilyn Alejandra. I knew Marilyn was was having issues, so that's why she didn't got connected. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, Monica Maricela. So she's not here. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Okay, Patricia Guadalupe. Right, she's not here. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right, Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Who? Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Good night. Who? Good night. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Okay, people. Antes que se vayan, alguien de acá todavía me debe los 10 minutos de retroalimentación because I am being jumping from one place to another. Uh, let me see. I had it with Roberto. Uh, I had it with Ruth recently, with Judith, with Mario, Carla, Oscar. Ya yeah, tuve los 10 minutos de feedback con ustedes, ¿cierto, Oscar? Sí, teacher, just to... Ok, very good. With Jorge, yeah. with uh, Carla. Mm. Ok. Cristina, what about with you? No Hello? yet, right? Con usted no, ¿verdad? Todavía. No. Ah, ok. Good. Me quería ir a dormir ya. I'm going to stay with you. Uh, just give me, it's just going to be a couple of minutes. No problem. Ok. No nos, no nos vamos a estar hasta las 11. No se preocupe. Va a estar bien. Good people. For the rest, gracias por conectarse. Nos vemos mañana en el inicio de la última semana de este módulo. Ok. Good night. You good night, good night everybody. People. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Teacher. Yes. En la tarea 15 es de ahora, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Solamente hay un ejercicio que no, no me aceptaba. Y ahorita como no tengo internet, estoy con los datos, estoy intentando conectarme a la página, pero no me carga. Mm -hmm. Si no, lo termino ahora porque solo es uno el que me quedó que no me acepta. Siempre me daba error, entonces lo dejé así. ¿Cuál es? El cuatro, me parece que era. ¿Este? Sí. Me parece. No, no, me, no me acuerdo yes. exactamente si era. Cambio, pero cambio. solo hay uno que dejé. Bueno, se puede ver en el progreso. Ah, ah ya, yeah, ministro. ¿Por qué no me carga la página? Mm. Ahorita vamos a ver eso. Ahí está. Oh. Fue la última parte. Uh -huh. Fue la última parte, entonces. Uh -huh.
la última tarea. Sí, solo que aquí no me parece Oh, que en no realidad sé. cuál fue. Vale. Ajá. Pero creo que el cuatro. La número cuatro, vaya, porque si en, to en todo caso fuera la número cuatro, from that one, sería más o menos de esta manera, mire. Si dice, the employees didn't read the email, aquí usted va a poner, the employees read the email. Like this. Ahora, nos vamos acá. No le parece, let me see. Vamos a probarle así. Mayúscula. Hoy oh, tampoco. Me falta la L aquí. Ay, ¿a dónde? Ay. Yes. Ya, ya ve, ya ve. Ya ando viendo mal. El sueño, Tich. Exacto. Ay, ahí está. Hoy ahí sí. Está. Siempre son positivos. Mire acá. Our boss. Came back last week. Last le puse. Last week le puse. Mm. Pero quizás en el 4 es que lo puso minúscula al inicio. Uy, ¿qué pasó ahí? ¿Ah? No, eh, yo creo que igual me hubiera dado, me hubiese dado esa parte ahí también. Se la ponen muy mal. Payback last. Ahí me faltaba el punto. Ahí está. ¿Yo sí? Entonces, okay. de esa forma en la que podemos ir checando ahí, ¿ok? Ok. Perfecto. Ahora right, yo, see you tomorrow. Ok. Ceci, are you there, Ceci? Sí. Ah, good. ¿Con usted ya tuve retroalimentación, Ceci? Eh, no. <risa> ah, pues si gusta quedarse con ella, teacher, y mañana me quedo yo. Vaya, Cristina, está bueno. <risa> <risa> ¿Le parece bien? Ya, yeah, me das ok. Vaya, ahí disculpe. <risa> ok. Pero como ella falta, yo pensé que lo yo faltaba. That's ok, no problem. <risa> Vaya, pues, good night, teacher, good All night. All right, good night. Good night, Ceci. Mm. Thank you. Igual, gracias. Cool. So basically, this, this, as you know, this uh, 10 minutes feedback is just for you to ask any question related to the topics and homework and everything you might have problems with. So, no mm. sé si tenemos algún inconveniente, alguna duda con respecto a los temas vistos, algo con la plataforma. Pues, para serles sincero, ¿sí? pero mmm, no he visto muy bien los temas y ahorita iba a completar las tareas. Eh, ok, <ríe> good. Sí, es que, ay, no, mira, que en serio no me ha dado la vida hasta el día, entonces. Sí, eh, por eso, pero <ríe> eh, quizá diría yo que tal vez, bueno, si no tienes algún problema con eso, es lo de complementar que las de texto, por cierto, las odio, odio, odio. <ríe> Entonces, yo te digo. Sí, sí, me imagino. Ah, sí. Ah. Y te olvides que ya no nos pongan de esa. O si las ponen que ya, por favor, no nos hagan darnos duro por Ay, una mayúscula sí. de un Créame que voy a pasar ese reporte igual voy a voy a decir como dice sí. al, algunas cositas de ahí yes. ah. sí así que eso ah, vaya perfecto sí, está no, bien va uh -huh. ah, muy bien sí porque ahorita solo ha hecho una verdad sí solo una sí así estoy viendo la, de ahí todas las tiene cero de veinte quiero ver hasta cuál es hasta la veinte mm. no hasta la quince Ah, ah, bueno. Tareas es hasta la 15. Vale, ah, pues la voy a hacer ahora. Vale, perfecto. Entonces ahí voy a estar esperando su, 
eh, sus resultados, ¿ok? Ay, Vaya, no. Vaya, Iris, ahí cualquier cosa, ahí estamos uh -huh. pendientes, ¿ok? Bueno, okay. Perfecto. See you tomorrow, yes. ¿ok? Good night. Okay.